Brilliant Minutes, sponsored by Sinclair Heating and Cooling. For 24-7 comfort on call. Time to talk three brilliant minutes. Bob Barker, what are you doing in between Brad and I? <laughs> the late, great <laughs> yeah. Bob Barker. Remember at the end of his show, yes. he would always say, help control the pet population. <laughs> Have, have your you, pets spayed or neutered. Correct. And important because it there is, are yeah. more pets than mm -hmm. there are homes for them. For sure. Um, however, if you have a pet and you're thinking about having your pet spayed or neutered, you have to remember mm. a couple of things. Um, it is a surgical procedure, so it can it's, be. It's major surgery. There's yeah. risks involved. Mm -hmm. There's trauma to the animal. Mm -hmm. There's recovery periods, multiple visits to the vets, which if you've been to the vet lately. It's costly. It, it yeah. adds up. Mm -hmm. It really does. But you know what? Maybe all of this is a thing of the past. Cammie, take a look at this. Ooh. New vaccine can temporarily neuter dogs for a single year, okay? I'm intrigued. So this vaccine was actually developed down in South America. They've been working on it for 15 years, so they think they have it down pat. Here's how it works. The injection blocks sexual activity and fertility. It's totally reversible as it wears off about a year later, and it works on both males and females. It's been patented in more than 40 countries. Mm. That includes the U.S. and the European Union. It's already being distributed and used in some South American countries, cities, excuse me, and it costs about $50 a shot per year. That's okay? economical. It is. It is. So something I'm sure it'll be coming to the United States. And that's something because as they always say, go later because it prevents cancer. So they right. say kind of wait till a year, 18 months. Right. So that would be I'll follow yeah. that one along. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. All right. The bees. What the do bees. They know? Well, we know about the plight of mm -hmm. the bees. They're declining populations. And part of the reason is their exposure to pesticides, mm -hmm. which they can you know, if the pesticide comes in contact with them physically, that's deadly. Mm -hmm. But also a lot of times these pesticides are applied to crops. And then when it rains, the pesticide is washed down into the soil, taken up by the roots of the plant and, and even into the flowers yeah. and into the pollen and nectar. And then they get it that way and then they take it back to the hives. So it's part of the problem. But you know what? There might be hope for the bees after all. Look at this. A bee antidote to deadly pesticides shows promise. Of course, the big question is, how do you line beans up to give them a shot, or what are you going to do yeah, there, right? Yeah, you have to put it through the flowers, I would think, right? But here's how it works. This is really interesting. So the researchers created, they're calling it an ingestible hydrogel microparticle, okay? But what it essentially is, it's a substance, a sweet substance that the bees are attracted to, and they consume it, okay? So once it's in their bodies, it's sort of... It allows the the ant or the um, excuse pesticides, me the pesticides yeah. to move right through the bees' digestive mm -hmm. tract and never being absorbed. So that's how it works. They did find about a 30% survival rate when the bees were exposed to lethal level levels. So it's not perfect, but it's something. Mm -hmm. And also significantly lessen symptoms of bumblebees when they were exposed to sublethal doses. Save the doses. bumblebees. Yes, they say, you know, sure. it'd be obviously easy to do around beehives. You just put it there and they're going to go to it because mm -hmm. they're attracted to it. But for wild bees, it's probably not such a good idea. But at least it's something. Yeah, they're working they, on it. Absolutely. They're working I think on that's it. all we have time for today. Is but I have true? some great ones tomorrow. Oh, see, I'll be with you tomorrow. I know. That's I what know. I'm saving okay. for you. <laughs> I like this one. Okay. okay still